Austin, very good to see you. Today we are talking through the four expenses that retirees almost always underestimate. And it's so important to nail down those known expenses in retirement so you can build an income plan around them. So the number one cost that we almost always underestimate is healthcare, of course. Medicare doesn't cover everything and long-term care can wipe out your savings if you don't have insurance. Yeah, Aaron, this is really a, a big, big one for retirees because unfortunately, we know as we age, we tend to have more healthcare events. Right. And as you stated, Medicare will not cover everything. And I think for many of us, thinking about um, the potential for long term care is really not an enjoyable thought. But this is a great tool that Genworth offers where you can select your state that you currently reside in or you think you will be in. And then let's say we're a 65 year old. Um, adult today. And we think perhaps maybe we have 20 good healthy years left. And then we want to look at the potential for long-term care. We can see given an assumed inflation rate 20 years out in your respective state, what are the current costs for various types of care, whether it's assisted living at home or even potential full-blown nursing home care. Mm -hmm. And then what will that look like in 20 years? And then we can use these figures to model into our retirement plan, what is the potential impact if I incur such an event? So this is the type of planning that really should be going on if we want to mitigate these potential risks and understand the impact that they can have on our retirement plan. Right. I mean, to have that expense there, about $17,000 projected out to 2043, that's got to be in your budget. Good point, Austin. Number two, housing. Even if you own your home outright, of course, you will still have expenses. Owning your home outright is, I think, a goal of many, many Americans. It can be part of that American dream, I think, for many of us. But the reality is that even if we do have the mortgage paid off, we still have expenses, things like property taxes, homeowners insurance, even potentially HOA dues. And I think for many of us, Aaron, if you're anything like myself, um, mowing the lawn and trimming the hedges is not really on that enjoyable task list. So <laughs> we likely will outsource those things as we age as well. So we have to account for that. Mm -hmm. All right. The third expense that we underestimate taxes, of course, a lot of retirees will still be paying income taxes. And a lot of people don't realize that social security is taxed. Yeah, this is a, a really, really important point. Mm -hmm. And one that I'm glad you brought up because taxes are such an essential part of a retirement plan. And I, I would argue for the biggest reason being that it is simply a large unknown. We do not know where future tax rates will be. And Social Security is, for many folks, a big part of their retirement income stream. And as you mentioned, it can be taxable if we have um, certain thresholds of income that we are over. So think of things like an IRA, a 401k or 403b. Those are all tax deferred assets. So as we pull money out of those types of accounts, it's fully taxable. And that income can then cause taxation on our social security benefits. Right. Now, the only fun expense we have on this list, travel and leisure. We want to enjoy that hard earned retirement. No doubt about it. Everybody loves a good trip and rightfully so, right? We've worked 30, 40, sometimes longer, um, 30 or 40 years to accumulate these assets. And we want to enjoy them, of course. And whether that looks like travel here in the United States or overseas, um, we want to be sure that we have an inflation rate or cost of living adjustment built in to this travel and leisure budget because we don't want those trips to get any worse, right? We want to maintain the ability to take those trips now and far into the future. Right. So what are the tips then to avoid any surprise expenses in retirement? Yeah, I think the, the biggest one that I can really point to is having a full-blown retirement plan built out mm -hmm. that accounts for all of these various items that we just discussed, because I think all too often we see people making decisions in a silo, right? Kind of making right. a decision in one area without thinking about the impact in another. For instance, we cannot discuss or think about taxes without talking about social security or the asset location of your retirement assets. Um, and having all of that work congruently together in a comprehensive retirement plan is really the only way to ensure that we're doing things correctly. And the second major point I would argue is life happens. So we have to be reviewing this frequently. I would argue at a minimum once a year, ideally, probably twice a year, because life changes. It's constantly evolving. And here at Patriot Wealth, one of our favorite slogans is the value is not in the plan, but really in the planning. Mm. It's always an active, evolving um, plan. 
because again, as soon as you walk out the door, it's really outdated. Right. When I come back at you and say, I want $20,000 for travel and leisure every year. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, this was such an important conversation. I'm glad we got to talk it through. If somebody would like to create that plan with you, how can they reach you? Yes, yeah, so you can give us a call at 919-322-4113 or send us an email at info at patriotwealthnc.com. Great. Austin, thank you. Thanks, Aaron.